Hey guys, Tom here. I just wanted to show you my uh, new toy I got. This is the Boogie Board by Improv Electronics. Just got it in today and tried it out and wanted to show you what it, what it, what it looks like and how it, how it works. In the side of the box you've got some instructions on how to use it, basically just telling you about pressure and how to keep the board clean. Um, comes with a nice microfiber cleaning cloth, always, always handy. Stainless steel stylus, and of course, the most important thing, the actual boogie board. So I'm going to kind of give you a demonstration how this how this works, and it basically works just like uh, pen and paper. In all reality, uh, the the surface is touch sensitive, so the stylus is not actually applying anything to the surface. It's just applying pressure. So you can write anything with anything, including your fingernail or um, any other type of object. Obviously though you don't want to scratch the surface so the included stylus uh, makes it very handy. Um, but yeah so I mean writing is very easy with this. It takes very little pressure to get a to get a result. I'll give you, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, the board closed up. It's it's not as big as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it more to be kind of full size piece of paper, but it's more like a uh, writing pad almost. So it's like a little notebook pad, uh, very equivalent to that type of size. Um, all those little other scratches you see is where actually I was I was I wiped it down and cleaned it. So that's you see remnants of that. Um, so yeah, it's I mean it's very easy to write with. Uh, it takes very little pressure and um, as you can see with that Y there um, the thickness of the line does actually uh, vary depending on the amount of pressure you place so we'll see if we can get a nice close-up shot of how this looks so here's a very very thin line with very little pressure and then we've got a nice bold thick line from applying a lot of pressure I'm a heavy writer myself so I usually write pretty Thick, pretty thickly, but um, as far as ease ability to read, I mean, it's 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 nice, nice and clear. I think you get some good contrast. Uh, it's a little bit different than having white paper and dark lettering, but um, the dark the dark surface and the light lettering, I mean, it shows up well. Um, the object is not backlit, uh, it so it does take ambient light. So you're going to need to read just like normal uh, pen and paper. Um, as far as battery usage, the device requires no electricity uh, to display text or when you're writing text, there's no electricity used. The only electricity is actually time that's actually used is when you reset the device. So unfortunately you're unable to store anything you write on this uh, pad. So if you're trying to make a drawing that you want to save, uh, the instructions suggest that you draw the uh, thing you're drawing and then take a picture with a camera because that's the only way you're going to be able to save anything. Um, so like I said, but, uh, resetting it is simply just you just press this little button up here, screen flashes a couple times, and it's completely clean. So I'll zoom in there and, and show you how it's just... Try to get the autofocus. We're having trouble focusing in on it. Alright, so there you go. So it's crystal clear. I mean, it does a good job of cleaning. There's no stray marks left behind. Um, it's it's basically like a new pad. So, uh, as I said, I mean, you get the varied line thickness. It's good for quick little notes that you want to make. Um, Obviously, you're not going to want to save anything on it. Um, on, no, nothing much going on on the back side. You've got this uh, Kent Reflex display. It's, it's an LCD display, so that must be the maker of the actual display. But um, they, uh, As far as restrictions, I mean, they say obviously can't take it underwater, um, don't want to expose it to extreme temperatures, extreme sunlight. Um, overall, I mean, I don't think there's much that is going to make this 
display display random figures or random marks other than just touching the actual surface so heat sensitivity cold sensitivity uh, light sensitivity is not going to have any effect on it um, when you're writing the only thing that may have a problem is if your hand drags across the display then you could get a little bit of a mark there um, cleaning display you're want to you're going to want to clean it before you erase it um, because when, when you clean it you apply, apply a little bit of pressure with the cloth and that could create some marks so it's just little tricks that as you get used to the device you're going to learn yourself um, only other thing is about this unfortunately is the battery inside is um, not changeable you're not able to replace the battery so once in fact um, the battery dies you are going to be unable to um, refresh and erase the display so when you press that bu button and nothing changes then unfortunately your battery's died and the device is essentially worthless unless you have your master artwork on the display in that case you're going to be keeping it forever so uh, all in all that's the uh, boogie, boogie board LCD writing tablet thanks for watching